Hello, welcome back. And uh, first thing I want to say is I'm sorry, the video doesn't have any sound. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but when I was recording and I thought there was sound and it showed like there was sound, but in the end there wasn't any. So that's why there's no sound. Yeah, I apologize for that. And uh, yeah, we, I mean, we could just get straight into it. So in this game, I decided to go with loot subscription because I thought it'd be kind of fun <laughs> to maybe go for a double emblem, uh, like portal, you know, maybe portal, yeah, or any other forgeable emblem, portal, fairy, even pyro would have been okay, frost, nine pyro, or nine frost, five pyro, all of these traits I felt like would be pretty strong, and I figured I could play towards that very easily. So if I went loot subscription, uh, there's a good chance, you know, I'll be able to find that. But obviously we got Tactician's Crown. There's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, so I just play around Tactician's Crown this game instead. And I will say again, really sorry there's no sound on this video. I'll make sure in the next video it doesn't happen. Uh, just like the first video had sound. Yeah, this one is just going to be muted, so... <laughs> I'll do my best to entertain you guys. And also, it's raining a, a bit and thundering, so I hope it doesn't disturb anyone. Yeah. And yeah, I, we could just talk about the game a little bit. So as you can see here, since it's Tactician's Crown, right, this might not seem like a big deal, but early game is very important because when you have a Tactician's Crown, it means every single person in the lobby has an additional unit. And what does that mean? That means every fight you lose, you're probably taking, you know, not necessarily an extra point of damage. It might actually be more. I'm not sure what the average is, but for example, if you are loose streaking, you are taking minimum one extra point of damage per fight, right? Assuming the person has their board full. And here you see me reroll everything uh, because I didn't find the first three augments to be anything special. Tiny Titans, again, do not want to loose streak. Pandora's Bench is okay. But um, since I wanted to play towards level 9 with the Tactician's Crown, you know, fit a lot of traits and everything, I decided to go with the Augment Selection. And that's because I figured I could easily find an emblem, right, in Stage 3. For the second Augment, I could reroll it, each of them, three times, right? So that means I have 12 chances to find an emblem. Unless it's a silver augment, in which case, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I also figured the gold would be good here, since it would help me play to get stronger right away without sacrificing my economy. And this specific board I settled on, right, because obviously it's it's the strongest board I got. Three Eldritch is quite nice. You get an extra unit. Uh, Shapeshifters are nice. Mordecai is a three star. So I definitely want to play him in Vanguard, give him Vanguard so he gets a little tankier. And then I'm just holding some shapeshifters on bench. I think Ari is okay, but she's not very strong. She got nerfed quite a lot. And yeah, basically ever since her nerfs, she hasn't been quite as popular. And yeah, so I'm just looking at my bench, right? I have a potential Morellos here. I haven't used it yet because I didn't need to. And I think it would be fine, but just because it's not really game changing early on i don't want to use it because it closes off a lot of options and if i wait for my next augment i'm not sure when i do put the morello down but if i wait for my next augment then there's a chance i could sort of have more options to take right like for example if i get frost then i can go tank items with a belt and a rod right and then i can make items for various like Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, right? And that would feel a lot better than just having a Morello early game versus pretty much no healing. Because early game, there's not a lot of healing, right? It's it's very minimal. So Morello has a lot lower impact in the early game than it does late game. And as you can see, I'm already two streaking, making 20 gold. You want to make sure you can make interest when possible, of course. And... I'm checking my shop, thinking, what do I want to play? Is there anything strong here? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, Blaster, maybe? No, it's not really worth it. I think 
I have the strongest board possible. The only thing is I don't really have damage. <laughs> yeah, Ash, Ash is not very good at dealing damage when she does not have items. So if you look here, right, I just have no items on board. Yeah, Ash is my only damage. So I decided to, to level up here because again, I don't necessarily think I'm going to win this fight, but I think this will always save me HP because my damage is incredibly low. So just adding another range unit in the back is going to deal a couple hundred damage, maybe six, seven hundred damage per fight, which is a lot, right? Because the quicker you kill this frontline unit, the less damage your frontline takes, which just means I have a lot higher chance to win this fight and or at least take way less damage than if I didn't level. And it seems like I will end up losing this. This might have been a Morello diff. I nearly won, though. It was very close. I think if I had Morello, I probably would have won this. But once again, you know, it's a little bit of hindsight. And also, I just really didn't want to close off all of my options by putting a Morello early game. Oh, yeah. And I hope everyone's doing great. I know I haven't uploaded in a week. I'm just getting back into it. And recently... I've been a little bit down, so I haven't been super uh, motivated to post and record and play a lot of games. Um, but I will try to do one video a week minimum. I'm going to try and see if I can do two a week. So I hope you guys can look forward to it. And I'll make sure they're at the same time or same days at least. I'm thinking Wednesday and Saturday and probably both around 7 p.m. Uh, either in on billy billy uh, i'll be posting around 7 p.m beijing time and in the u.s uh probably eastern standard time since i'm in the eastern standard zone and around 7 p.m also so yeah and here you can see i replace my back line i replace the tristana with a cassiopeia and i slam i go ahead and slam rage blade because i think i now i want to slam an item rage blade is something i can kind of be a little flexible with i could play Callista. It will save me a ton of health. Rage Blade is really good early game, right? Because no one has a lot of damage. So the Rage Blade stacks quite a lot, actually. Especially on my team where I have pretty much five frontline units. If you count the Eldritch Daisy, then I have five frontline, right? And I mean, I have two Shapeshifter, two Vanguard. Like almost pretty much have three tank traits. So just putting in this Cassiopeia with the Rage Blade is a big deal. And I'm just constantly thinking about what I can play. I think my board is as strong as it's going to get currently. So I'm just scouting my opponents. I want to see how I should position. I see that this person has a Varus. And I decide I think he's one of the bigger threats. Because these other two people, I think the positioning doesn't matter as much. So I go ahead and spread out my front line. This way, versus the Varus, he won't hit as many of my units with his ult. And as you can see, technically... It should work here. If he ults Mordekaiser right here, he... Ooh, okay, so he actually ended up ulting in the center, right? Because he's the biggest clump. But um, it still kind of worked out, spreading out my front line. Because I had a lot more front line units than him. So the second we killed his front line, one of his tanks, uh, we just kind of infiltrated his back line. And here I was looking at the hunters because I was thinking, is this stronger? Can I somehow play this with a rage blade? And I was thinking to myself, I'm probably going to play Callista. Callista feels like she could work here. I do have to see my items here at the Krugs. Uh, that's very important. Like whatever items I get here are quite important, right? But I am thinking to myself, mm, Callista's probably strong. And I will tell you guys, there is a patch coming very, very soon. Uh, when this video comes out, I'm not sure when it will. the patch will be coming out, but it will be this week. Uh, the week this video is posted and basically we expect them to nerf Callista or fairy because the fairy trait seven fairy is incredibly strong right now it's way too strong Callista is very overpowered so pretty much every game in high rank you will see Callista uh, I'm sure people in low rank have also been seeing it a lot uh, it is very very strong it's kind of um, what's the right word not overpowering um, dominating, maybe dominating, something like that. And here, yeah, I'm just thinking I could play a hybrid uh, between maybe Callista and then I'm thinking I want to play Fiora 
maybe Gwen, some warriors, right? To try to, I'm looking for a fairy, right? Uh, and then I'm looking for Arcana, Hecarim, right? Multi striker. I'm just thinking to myself, what could I play? What would be the strongest thing here? And it's not on Lilia, because Lilia would get Bastion. And then I need one more unit. And that is a Kali, because she gives multi striker and warrior. And do actually win the fight in the background. <laughs> Obviously, you can't see that uh, since I was trying to figure out what I wanted to play. And this is exactly what I told you guys, right? The silver augment I took for rerolls was exactly for this moment. So I could try and find a spatula or an emblem. Sorry, I should say an emblem. And maybe play something very strong. So here you're going to see me reroll most of these. You have my sword very, you know, whatever. Item collector, whatever. Clockwork is a bit whatever. Little buddies, whatever. Also, dummies, whatever. Item collector. Right? I'm just rerolling. They're all a bit whatever. I'm looking for an emblem, if possible. I do like item collector, though. That's why I was holding it. And then here I'm thinking, oh, I really don't want to go shapeshifter. But let me see if I can find something better. And I see all of these and I'm like, oh, they're a bit weak. So I'm like, maybe I should just go for eight shapeshifter in this case. And then I level so I can play four shapeshifters. And I regroup my front line. Since I already fought the Varus player. And I'm thinking about my items. And I go ahead and make Redemption. Because Redemption gives percentage healing rate. Uh, based on missing health. Which is very strong for shapeshifters. Because they have so much health. So I think, you know, I'm not really going to need a belt or a raw, uh, sorry, belt or tier for the damage dealer. Which is going to probably be Varus and Smolder. So here I was thinking maybe cast, but then I said, no, I think Varus Smolder is much better. I have Rage Blade. I can put that on Smolder. It's very nice, right? And then I can just find a Varus at some point. Because I think it's a bit, a bit nicer. If I just get to level 9, I can play a Shapeshifter with those two units. And Smolder is obviously very strong, right? As a legendary, does quite a lot of damage. I personally like always having a rage blade on smolder a uh, secondary item is a bit flexible i think you can go like glass whisper infinity edge giant slayer runans lots of items are fine with my current setup i'm thinking i'm just going to go double rage blade because i have another rod and maybe runans because i have a cloak and of course i would like to win more fights if possible I, I did lose one in the middle, so I wasn't win streaking here, but winning is winning, right? And then I was just scouting to see what traits or what augments people chose. See if there's anything, maybe if I'm contested, uh, how I should be playing. Because if you're contested, you don't want to reroll, right? Uh, and then if you're not contested, you can potentially go level 9 without rolling and then hit the two stars at level 9. This would let you get Briar, in my case, Briar plus Smolder for sure. And it also makes it a lot easier to find Nasus and Varus if I'm uncontested. And then here I'm just looking and I'm thinking, probably bow, right? I just want to slam Rage Blade immediately. Get rid of this rod and it just makes me a bit stronger. I think two Rage Blades together is a lot stronger than one Rage Blade on its own. And we're back. And here I see the random emblem and I was really, really contemplating it. I was thinking to myself, there's such a high chance that this is not actually useful. Uh, it could be something, but it's just so unlikely that it's useful that I just decide not to waste the money because I really want to go level 9 here, right? I feel like I have a pretty nice win streak. The one loss is unfortunate, but, you know, I'm still mostly winning. I have a 5 streak that's already important enough or good enough to probably go level 9 without any issues. And the longer it holds up, the higher the chances I can go level 9. Mm -hmm. Also, um, if anyone's wondering about the Bloodthirster on Mordekaiser, I slammed that earlier, right? Because I had so many items. I hadn't seen my trait yet, so maybe I should have waited. But I think I just wanted to keep winning. And I thought Bloodthirster is always pretty good, right? And in this case, I can put it on... Actually, quite a few shapeshifters can hold it, I think. Shivana, Jace, uh, Elise. Who else? <laughs> All 
Also, Briar, of course, Briar is the best one by far. I think you can even put it on Nasus for a little bit, and it's not bad. But in this case, two star Mordekaiser with Bloodthirster and Shapeshifter is <laughs> very, very tanky, right? He's also giving us three traits uh, when he's holding the Shapeshifter emblem. Here, I was scouting for the Zephyr. I was trying to dodge the Zephyr, right? And I see he didn't move it, so I didn't move my Mordekaiser. Maybe I should have uh, checked a bit better because I did get, I did hit the Dragon Claw here. It doesn't matter. This person isn't rolling at all. They're very, very poor. They have two augments that don't really do anything because he has an augment that gives him experience, 10 XP, right? Silver Spoon. But I'm actually a level higher than him. So the Silver Spoon is not really helping him in this fight. And then he also has Golden Quest, I believe, which does nothing for him. Here I'm just holding Callista. I don't know if I sell her. Do I sell her? I think I'm selling her. But um, after this game, I believe I started holding Callistas almost all the time to grief people. Because Callista is so broken. It's just uh, unreasonable. She's actually extremely broken. So I decided to stop, start playing against it. And then I, I thought about changing my combat to this instead of going for the Smolder and the um and the varus here i'm just thinking about my items right i see component anvil it is a little expensive but i think it's a big deal so i take it and then i get runans so i just decide okay you know what i'm gonna just make runans because i think i can just put these items on smolder and they have a chance to keep my win rate or not my win rate my win streak going which is a big deal again i'm just scouting to see if i should move uh, checking for the Zephyr, and I think, okay, we're good here. And I do fight the Zephyr player, finally. Here I slam Garbos on the left, because my opponent's all hitting on the left side. And I go ahead and make Titans, actually. Okay, so I made Titans, because Runas doesn't really do anything right now, since I don't have Smolder, and my items are on Cassiopeia. So I just made the Titans, because uh, Titans is one of Briar's best items. I believe it's Titans... Just Titans, Bloodthirster, Sterex. But you know, QSS, right? Quicksilver Sash can be very good as well. There's quite a good, few good items on her. But she really does like uh, Titans. Here, of course, I'm not going to take Vanguard. Uh, Hero Grebek, I'm not rerolling. Sugarcraft, no way. Support item is okay, but eh. No Vanguard. Combat Bandage is very bad with Shapeshifters. Oh, and I see Artifact Anvil. I love Artifact Anvil. I think these other ones were okay, but then I see explosive growth, and I think, oh, you know, I kind of want to go level 9, so I do go ahead and take this. My items are fine, so Pandora's wasn't good. You know, there was a lot of things I just rolled through, so it's hard to say why I didn't take any of them. I just thought I could find something better for most of them. And then here I do get the Smolder, but I do want to roll for the Shapeshifters to get 6 Shapeshifter going. So now I'm six shapeshifter, which I think is stronger. And I do go ahead and put these items down for now. And I put the blood thruster on the back line because I'm going to sell this unit. And I already lost my win streak. So I'm not really thinking too much about, uh, you know, putting it on a tank just to be a little bit stronger. I just think to myself, I just want it to be convenient so I can sell it and move it easily later. And then here, my team planner, I changed my mind again since I found Smolder. I just said, okay, I'm just going level 9. I'll play Smolder. I took Explosive Growth. I need to make use of it, right? Find Smolder 2, find Briar 2, and just level, level to 9. So here, I pretty much just have to wait until Chickens because Explosive Growth takes 4 turns, right? That was turn 1, then after Carousel, right? Then the next turn, Chickens, and then I'll be able to go to level 9. And then here I find Camille, I just play it temporarily because she can hold the Titans and Bloodthirster. And the Jinx, Cass, these other units weren't really doing anything. And I think, ah, oh, this is perfect, right? She can hold all three of these items with no problem. And then Melio is just, you know, a nice legendary. She gives items, so I think it's perfectly fine. Can we just play it right now? 
give him a tear so he can cast faster. And you see Camille's actually doing quite a bit. She's getting a lot of stuns off. It, I mean, I probably would have won this anyways, but uh, Camille did do a lot of damage, if you see. She did 3k damage. And then here I'm thinking, what would I play as my 10th unit, right? Because we do have a Tactician's Crown. And I think, okay, probably just Nomzi for 3 Dragon would be okay. Because Smolder is going to be my main carry. I am going to try and put items on Varus as well. But Smolder has the highest single target, right? So playing 3 Dragon is just going to increase his DPS, which is kind of a big deal. Here I'm looking at the... <laughs> I'm looking at the girl, right? I really want this briar, but they take it, unfortunately. So I think about what I can go, and I think, well, glove is probably not super useful. Because it's kind of not possible to go various items anymore. Uh, I could maybe have got taken glove and, you know, prayed for Shoujin, or Infinity Edge, or Guard Breaker, or something like that. But in my opinion, I already have items for briar. I have items for Nasus, and I have two items for Smolder. I have two items for each of these, right? So trying to make items for Varus is very, very like difficult because I'm already spreading my items very thin. If I do that, it's a lot better to have three items on your carries than to have two on multiple. So here I was just thinking, you know, this belt could be a tank item. And then tier could also be a tank item, potentially. Maybe just another redemption, right? If, if necessary. But I definitely want to prioritize Smolder and Nasus items. And then here, I barely win. But you know, it works out. A win is a win. We managed to get a two streak. We're sitting at 74 health. We still have one more turn for explosive growth to proc, which will put us at 52 XP. So we're kind of just trying to play the strongest board possible, which in this case I think is Cassiopeia. Because Cassiopeia gives witchcraft, it gives a little bit of a, uh, a useful effect, right? Minus 150 health on the enemies that are hit by the witchcraft units, which in this case you see Tarek, right? Tarek loses a bit of health. So it feels like the probably the best thing I could play immediately. And I don't buy this charm, of course, because I don't need any three stars, really. I already have Swain and Nico two star. And it's just a waste of gold, because I'm going to need to find Smolder two, Nasus two, Varus two, Briar two. There's a lot of units I want to find, so I really need to save my gold. And we made it to chickens. So here you see I'm sitting at 52 gold. I'm about to get quite a bit of gold. I should be able to have 20. I don't think I'm going to make 30. But I'll have about 30 something after chickens. Which means I could level immediately. I think I wait another turn. Because my health is so high right now, right? I really, really... I see also I'm scouting to see if there's any potential uh, threats. And I see the fairy player with one fairy emblem, and I think, okay, uh, I'm going to need to stop him from getting another emblem, potentially, uh, at the next carousel. I actually do level immediately, because I have enough gold, and I got the, the gold orb, right? Prismatic orb, give me a ton of gold. Here, I just buy this charm. Oh, I find Briar immediately, that's amazing. I get, oh, wow, okay, so I hit Nasus, and I hit Smolder too. So here's a really big deal, and I also get a shapeshifter. So this is about as good as the, the roll down could have gone. Here, do I do I not feed my Briar? I think I don't feed Briar. I think that's a mistake though. I should probably be feeding Briar to get it stronger if possible. Here I get Rune Ends, so I go ahead and make it. I was going to take red buff for a second, but then I was like, oh wait, I have dragon. I don't need I don't need red buff, right? And then I do make another redemption, which is a little bit much. Right, I think I have three redemptions, <laughs> but you know, it can't be terrible, right? And it's the items I got, so you make what you get. 
it was either that or a blue buff and a war mogs maybe that would have been better but um obviously i made these items at different times it's not like i made them all at once here i of course i lose to callista seven fairy is very broken so eight shapeshifter does not beat seven <laughs> seven fairy actually which is a bit ridiculous but that's that's the current patch And let's see. I'm just scouting again. I'm trying to see if there's any potential threats that I need to look out for. And then I buy a charm. Go ahead and buy a charm right, of course. And I'm still not feeding Briar. Wow, that's, that's really weird. I feel like I should have been feeding Briar. I wonder why I wasn't. And then here, I put the units back in the planner because I wanted to think what's the best 10th unit I could play? And then I do end up deciding on Nomzi. I think it's just the best by far. Eldritch doesn't really do much. Um, yeah, so I was just, oh, you know, I'll just play three dragon, right? Let's buff my main carry. As you can see, Smolder is doing the most damage by far. It is not very close. Here I roll for a charm. I get Aftershock, and I think I stop rolling. Also, I am thinking, you know, I s just need to save my gold until the last second, and then probably three-star Nasus or Varus. Thing is, I don't have, you know, Varus items, um, so it's a bit awkward. So I think I'm probably going to end up three-starring Nasus this game, because I don't have enough gold to get to level 10, and I also don't have enough gold to find Smolder. I think rolling for a three-star five cost at level 9 is almost impossible um each shop you have a 10 percent chance to find one legendary so pretty much on average every two shops you find one legendary and there's eight legendaries right and i already have three of the smolders so i'd have to find four more smolders right while only finding one legendary every two shops which um you know is a bit difficult if i was level 10 i think it could be possible I, I was looking at Smolder though, but I see this immediately. I see the Fairy Emblem, right? And I think, oh no, you know, I can't do anything about this. Um, this kind of sucks. <laughs> and I, so I start pinging it. This is all I can do, right? Ping, 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 and no one, no one cares. I, I do think it's probably because it's low rank. I think this was only a gold game. I, I think it was, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. This is plat one. Yeah, yeah this is plat one. This is almost emerald. Uh, and I do go red buff because I don't see anything better at the end there. Red buff just deals damage and a lot of attack speed for Varus. I'm very sad about the, the fairy emblem spawning. And then I couldn't take it because I was last pick on my own. It is so, so unfortunate, right? I, I really couldn't do anything about that. I even noticed his fairy emblem way earlier, right? When I was scouting. I said, okay, let's just hope he doesn't find another fairy emblem randomly. And yeah, it's it's just unfortunate, right? This this will always happen in some of your games. If you if you play a game perfectly, and you know something just out of your control happens, then you can't really say you did anything wrong in the in that case. So like in this case, I don't believe I did anything wrong, right? Like there is no way I could have stopped the my opponent from getting that emblem. I did what I could, which was spam ping the emblem, hoping someone would take it. Uh, I can't, could not do more than that. And here I'm just scouting to see again, does, is anyone going to get something really strong? Uh, can I stop them? I want to make sure I get the highest placement possible, right? I don't want to take, I don't want to go third place. Uh, I assume I'm going to lose to the fairy player and so I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> let's make sure I get second, right? Let's scout. What can I stop? Need to make sure my opponents don't get something that puts me, makes me lose another placement. I might have also been scouting. I wasn't, uh, I don't remember exactly. This game was a, a few days ago. So I forgot if I was scouting here or not. Also, as you can see, I very, very one-sidedly won this fight uh, my opponent was not close to beating me here i'm very strong and then here i actually find varus 2 and nasus 
So I think to myself, oh, you know, I could definitely, I could definitely hit three star four costs. I'm pretty sure. And then I'm here, I'm just scouting again. Does anyone have Varus, Nasus? Checking their positioning. I'm just looking around, right? It's, it's always good in your free time uh, when you have nothing to do during the round to scout your opponent and make sure you put yourself, you know, give yourself as much knowledge as possible. And here, oh, this is incredible, right? I find champ dupe and I find another Nasus in the same shop. So I think to myself, I don't have enough gold to go for a, to go for a three star five cost. So I just immediately make Nasus. Also, I want to say, um, Maybe some of my viewers know, because I haven't played that many games this set. Um, last set was my first set, and I was Masters 300 LP in North America at my peak. And this is basically my second set. I haven't played a ton of TFT. Uh, I've been kind of busy. But I didn't think Nasus was weak. I thought he would be strong enough with H Shapeshifter to win against everything pretty much even against nine fairy potentially uh so that's that is why i made this three star i could have waited right and sold my whole board uh gone for a legendary something like that but i thought it was it would be winnable which is why i made this decision it was you know potentially a mistake in hindsight but i think yeah i i, I just assumed nasus would be strong enough because, right, once again, he's H shapeshifter. He even has pyro, right? It doesn't really do much to pyro, but uh, he does have H shapeshifter, his best trait, and he's three star. So I figured he might be able to win. This was a bit of a experience thing. If I had played this set more, I would know exactly how strong Nasus 3 is, right? I would know if he could win this or not. And I do see it, this fight, and I think, oh, this actually looks pretty close, right? But the issue is, <laughs> this <laughs> this trait is so ridiculously strong. I can't kill his Rakan, right? As you can see here. And then, unfortunately, his Callista just kills everything eventually. On top of that, he since he got the emblem, last carousel, he actually got to save enough gold to go level 10. Right, and he's been win streaking so long. He would have lost to me had he not gotten the the extra emblem. I'm pretty certain he would have lost to me. And I don't mean the entire game. I just mean, I think he would have lost at some point, and he would have lost his win streak. And then here I'm just thinking about positioning. Uh, who should I give shapeshifter to, Varus or Nomzi? I do give it to Nomzi. I think this is a mistake, actually, but because I because I have a remover, right? Um, I was thinking I, I could get an item for Varus, but actually I need an item for Nasus. So I do think giving the shapeshifter emblem to Varus would have been a lot better. So that was definitely a mistake. And then here I just tried to switch up the positioning because I lost the last fight. I thought you know, I mean the only thing I can do is move positions, right? So maybe playing on this side will work out a little better uh, obviously I don't win this unfortunately but all I can do at this point is try and then here at the carousel I just think okay what can I get here don't make me stronger I do see there's a rage blade a gun blade a uh, jeweled gauntlet I you know actually consider taking jeweled gauntlet or last whisper for Nasus because it felt like we weren't doing enough damage right that was the issue but I was just thinking, maybe I can just get a charm that will do enough. Here I look for the Briar 2, because I think, okay, maybe Briar 2 is could help. Here I reforge Redemption, because I don't think it does enough to win fights. And also the Nico carrying it is just dying so fast, right? So I was like, maybe I can get something better for Briar, more damage. Because I don't think our issue here is being t uh, not being tanky enough. I think it's that we can't kill it. <laughs> we can't kill this guy quick enough. Here I do switch opposite side of Callista, so we can, and also to get away from the um, the Katarina. But my smolder walks into it, obviously, or flies into it. But I pretty much just want in my backline to get hit last, so we have a higher chance to kill everything, other than Callista. 
And here you actually see my Briar. My Briar is so smart, right? She got on the back line. If this was a damage item, I think I made another mistake here, by the way. I, I'm i pretty sure I should have given Last Whisper to Briar. I, I think that might have been the difference. I end up losing Nas GG. But um, it was actually a good game, right? I would have gone first, and there was quite a few small mistakes near the end that maybe could have made the difference. I'm not sure, right? It's all hindsight at the end of the day. But yeah, it, I think it's a good game to learn from. You can see how I played. I was not planning to play Shapeshifter this game at all, right? Um, but I, got, I found the emblem and I thought, okay, this is probably going to be pretty strong. And it was definitely the strongest I could have taken for my second augment. So I just took it and I win, uh, got a big win streak. And the only reason I ended up losing is because the opponent got a, another emblem and they got nine fairy, right? It happens, unfortunately. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then, you know, please like it. And that's all. Yeah. And you can check out my other videos maybe as well. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.